ensure your phone phones are on silent mode please May I start, sir? Yeah. Good afternoon. Aap sab ka is press vartha mein swagat hai. This press conference becomes a little more special as this is Sri Rajiv Kumar's first press conference after assuming charge as Chief Election Commissioner of India. Hamare samaksh manch par aasin hai Honorable C.C. Sri Rajiv Kumar ji, Election Commissioner Sri Anup Chand Pandey ji, Secretary General Sri Umesh Sinha ji, the concerned Senior D.C. Sri Dharmin Sharma ji, Senior D.C. Sri Chandra Bhushan Kumar and Sri Narend Butolia, the concerned Senior Principal Secretary. I would now request Honorable C.C. Sri Rajiv Kumar ji to make his opening statement. Thereafter, the floor would be open for your questions. Thank you. Sir, please. Thank you, Shifali ji. Honorable Election Commissioner Sri Anup Chand Pandey ji, colleagues on the dais, friends from media, present here and connected to us virtually and fellow citizens. I feel highly privileged and honored to announce before you the schedule of election for the office of the President of India, not only the highest elected office of the country, but of the largest democracy of the world. Bharat ke Rastpati ka pad duniya ke sabse bade loktantra ka sarvoch chayanit pad hai aur jiske chunao karani ki jummedari samvidhan ke article 324 ke antargat भारत निर्वाचन आयोग को सौंपी गई है मैं अपने सहयोगी निर्वाचन आयुक्त श्री अनूप चंद्र पांडे जी एवं संपूर्ण निर्वाचन आयोग के साथ भारत के सोलवे राष्ट्रपति पद के लिए चुनाव के कार्यक्रम की घोषणा करते हुए अत्यंत गौरवान्वित महसूस करता हूं इट्स अ मैटर ऑफ ग्रेट प्राइड प्रिविलेज एंड ऑनर दैट द इंस्टीट्यूशन ऑफ इलेक्शन कमीशन ऑफ इंडिया has successfully, freely, fairly conducted elections 15 times to the office of the President. And this is the 16th time and we really feel very privileged and honored. So the format of today's briefing would be something as it is on your screen. So what we'll do is we'll show you the overview. Election procedure kya hai? Election mein kon kon bhaag lete hai? Votes ki unke value kya hai? नॉमिनेशन का प्रोसेस क्या होगा इलेक्शंस की लोकेशंस कहाँ होंगी वोटिंग कहाँ कहाँ होगी और कंडक्ट एंड रूल्स क्या हैं उससे रिलेटेड और उसमें कुछ हम लोग नए सोशल रिस्पांसिबिलिटी के काम करेंगे वो क्या हैं और लास्ट में शेड्यूल क्या है द टर्म ऑफ ऑफिस ऑफ श्री रामनाथ कोविंद जी ऑनरेबल प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया इज एंडिंग ऑन ट्वेंटी फोर्थ जुलाई टू एज ऑल ऑफ यू नो as per Article 62 of the Constitution of India, an election to fill the vacancy caused by the expiration of the term of office of the outgoing president is required to be completed before the expiration of the term, which in this case is 24th July 2022. Article 324 of the Constitution, read with the, the Presidential and Vice Presidential Election Act, Copies of which are uh, here outside. Uh, you can uh, you can also take copies. And the presidential and vice presidential election rules 1974 vests the superintendence, direction, and control of the conduct of election to the office of the president of India in the election commission of India. And commission, therefore, as I said, is fully geared up to discharge and perform this duty in a very very free and fair way. जो एक्ट मैंने अभी आपको दिखाया, उसकी धारा चार तीन में निर्वाचन के लिए जो अधिसूचना है, वह निर्गामी राष्ट्रपति जी की पदावधि समाप्त होने से पूर्व साठवें दिन, सिक्सटीयर डे या उसके पश्चात जारी की जा सकती है। और exactly it is we are following this, it is after sixtieth day. As per Article 54 of the Constitution of India again, the President is elected by 
the members of the electoral college consisting of elected members of both houses of parliament rajya sabha and lok sabha and elected members of the legislative assemblies of all states including national capital territory of delhi and union territory of pondicherry aur yahan ye ek baat important hai ki jo nominated members hain rajya sabha mein lok sabha mein aur legislative assemblies mein they are not form of part of the electoral college and therefore they are not entitled to vote similarly members of the legislative councils are also not electors for the president election article 553 of the constitution provides that election shall be held in accordance with the system of proportional representation by means of a single transferable board and voting at such election shall be by the secret ballot in this system the elector has to mark preferences against the names of the candidates तो वो किस तरह से मार्किंग कर सकते हैं वो भारतीय अंकों के अंतर्राष्ट्रीय रूप में यानी वन टू थ्री कर सकते हैं रोमन रूप में कर सकते हैं और किसी भी रिकॉग्नाइज्ड इंडियन लैंग्वेज की जो रोमन जो 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 उसके शब्द हैं उनमें अंक हैं उनमें कर सकते हैं और ये शब्दों में अंकित नहीं किया जा सकता है प्रेफरेंस हेस्ट टू बी मार्क्ड इन फिगर्स ओनली एंड शेल नॉट बी इंडिकेटेड इन वर्ड्स the elector also has to mark many preferences against the number of candidates while marking of the first preference is compulsory for the ballot paper to be valid aur agar kisi voter ne pratham choice nahi di aur baki choice di to uska vote cancel ho jayega ek dusri vishesh baat hai ki vote dene ke liye aayog apni taraf se pen provide karega yeh pen पहले से ही एयर के पास रहेंगे और डेजिनेटेड ऑफिसर द्वारा मतदान केंद्र में वोटर्स को मत पत्र सौंपते समय दिए जाएंगे सो दे हैव टू वोट ओनली बाय दैट पर्टिकुलर पेन इफ किसी अन्य पेन का उन्होंने उपयोग किया तो मतगणना के समय उनका वोट इनवैलिड करार दे दिया जाएगा द इलेक्शन कमीशन इन कंसल्टेशन देंट्रल गवर्नमेंट अपॉइंट दी आर ओस वंस for the, from the lok sabha and second time from the rajya sabha so this time secretary general rajya sabha will be appointed as the returning officer for the present election the commission has also decided to appoint assistant returning officers in all the state capitals including ncty of delhi and union territory of pondicherry and this is for making all the arrangements for conducting the poll and for transporting ballot boxes from delhi to the state capitals where the voting will take place at the designated places and also to bring back those uh, ballot boxes if in case the aros are not for some reason fall ill or something the commission is also appointed the second assistant returning officers and will be distributing you a book in the form of a press note what i am reading is available this will be also uploaded appendix to this book gives you all the details of the aros aros their names their phone numbers everything now coming to the place of uh, voting as per rule 7 of the presidential and vice presidential election rule 74 poll for the election will be taken in parliament house and in the premises of the state legislative assemblies including the legislative assemblies of ncit of delhi and pondicherry and the rule provides where legislative assembly meets for transaction of business so this is what is provided in the rule itself and the polling is required where if required shall take place in these places and the list of these polling stations is also given in the appendix 2 of the book i just showed you now i come to the value of the votes value of the votes of the elected members of the state legislative assemblies combined is 543231 and similarly of all the mps combined it is all these uh, slides would also be given to you i suppose uh, they must be uh, already tweeted and must be with you on your uh, uh, system so the states is 543231 MPs is five lakh forty three thousand two hundred, so almost 
equal and total is 10 lakhs 86,431. While the electoral college consists of MPs who are 776 and MLAs of the entire country who are 4,033 totaling to the voter list of 4809. So that's what is the total number. Now I come to the nomination papers. The nomination paper of a candidate has to be delivered only at Delhi, an office designated by the RO. On nomination ke, and it cannot be at any other place, it has to be only at Delhi. Nomination may proposer ke roop mein kam se kam pachas proposers. 50 members of the electoral college will propose and another set of 50 will second. They would be not common, new. So, so, so one set for proposing and one set for uh, seconding. And an elector can subscribe to only one nomination, paper of a candidate as either a proposer or a seconder. Abhyarthi Swim is ko file kar sakte hai nomination ko ya apne kisi proposer ya seconder ke dwara 11 o'clock se 3 o'clock tak except holidays file kar sakte hai. And as per the procedure there is a security of 15,000 rupees which has to be filled. There are designated treasuries, there is an RBI office what is all provided in the booklet. Uh, this is for more, more for the candidates, this can be deposited. Now coming to the electoral college again. As per rule 40 of the presidential and vice presidential election rules, 1974, the commission maintains a list of members of the electoral college as referred to in article 54 with the with their correct up-to-date address it and the, for the purposes of presidential elections. A copy of the electoral college is also being uploaded on the commission's website. So anybody can see who is the member state-wise, that is all on the commission's website will be posting it and there are certain in this list we will require to update it because there are elections which are taking place for the Rajya Sabha to the 55 positions result of whom is coming before the presidential election date it is similarly the, the, the uh, voter list would be updated as and when the term of these MPs happen and they will be part of the voter list. Similarly, in uh, legislative assemblies also, wherever there are by-elections and if the results come before the date of voting, their names would also be added in the voter list as a supplementary list and all of that will also be put on the website of the commission. Further. This voter list is also available if anybody wants to keep it as a record for rupees 300 at our, at our counter which is set up in our commission. But it's available on our website as well. As regards the uh, date of polling, candidate can authorize a representative to be present at the time of polling and at the place fixed for counting. Or this has to be informed to us in advance so that the representative can be approved. About the place of voting for the MPs and MLAs, normally MPs are expected to cast their votes at the place of polling in the Parliament House, New Delhi. And similarly, members of the state legislative assemblies are also expected to cast their vote in the respective assemblies. However, if there is an emergency, or there is a some requirement. Prior approval say voting location, kisi bhi voting location par MPs and MLAs dusri apne vote ko dal sakte hain. But iske liye kam se kam 10 din pehle ayo ko suchna dini padegi taki unke vote ki vyavastha us changed sthan pe ki ja sake. To, as I mentioned earlier, the constitution has expressly provided that election to the office of president shall be by secret ballot. The electors are therefore expected to scrupulously maintain secrecy of vote. In this election, there is no, what you call the, uh, the, the display of the vote at all, it is to be secret. There is no concept of open voting in this election. 
and showing the ballot to anyone under any circumstances will render the vote invalid. So the process is that after you have taken the ballot paper, you, 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 you mark it in the compartment, fold it and mark it with the pen as I mentioned which we have provided. Marking it by any other pen would also make it invalid. About the whips, it is also clarified that political parties cannot issue any whip to their MPs and MLAs in the matter of voting in the presidential election. There is no whip which is permissible in this election. As per section 18 of the President and Vice President Election Act rules, the offence of bribery or undue influence in any manner as defined in section 171B and 171C of the IPC by the return candidate or any person with the consent of the return candidate are among the grounds on which the election can be held invalid by the Honorable Supreme Court in an election petition. So uh, there is no way that any influence or any inducement or any case of a new influence uh, which must be totally avoided. Otherwise it is a ground for petition. So, दोबारा से सारांश में कोई भी पॉलिटिकल पार्टी अपने एमपीज और एमएलएस का कोई भी इशू नहीं कर सकेंगे और चूंकि ब्राइबरी और अंडियू इन्फ्लुएंस क्राइम की श्रेणी में आते हैं इसलिए इन ग्राउंड्स पर इलेक्शन सुप्रीम आने सुप्रीम कोर्ट के द्वारा रद्द भी किया जा सकता है दी आवर सीईओज इन दी स्टेट्स विल सुपरवाइज दी अरेंजमेंट्स एंड दी इलेक्शन एज आई मेंशन अर्लियर नाउ वी कम टू दी कोविड Fortunately, it's not as uh, an issue as it was, but still, the Commission has decided to maintain every protocol in as applicable in the respective states. The entire on the day of polling and on the day of counting, the entire protocol would be followed. It has also been Commission's endeavour to make elections eco-friendly. This is our uh, responsibility and in view of the importance of this election and the fact that lawmakers constitute the electoral college and to reinforce criticality of environmental protection measures in policy and action, the commission has directed the returning officers and assistant returning officers concerned to ensure use of eco-friendly and biodegradable material and eliminate the use of prohibited plastic material all together. Chunavo ko eco-friendly banane ke liye plastic material ki bajaye totally biodegradable material ka istamal karne ka nidesh commission ne sabhi ko diya hai. Coming to the counting, counting of votes will be held in New Delhi under the supervision of the returning officer who happens to be the secretary general of the Rajya Sabha and on completion of the counting the return of election in form number 7 as appended in the rules will be signed and issued by the returning officer. So I have already stated that this press note booklet is available also and this is copies are kept outside but this is also available if anybody wants from our office uh, as well. There are number of questions which uh, are raised about uh, this election. So we have also prepared a frequently asked questions FAQs. There are 35 questions which we have which also we are uploading immediately after this. So I hope I am sure that uh, replies to whatever is in your mind would be available here. But anyway, if you want to ask anything, now in the end, in pursuance of the subsection one of section four of the Presidential and Vice Presidential Elections Act 1952, the Election Commission of India has fixed the schedule for the election to fill the office of the President of India as given in Appendix 3 and which I am reading out to you now. Can we put it on the... I am waiting for you to okay. announce it, sir. So the notification would be on 15th June, that is Wednesday. 
last date for making the nomination would be 29th June, that is Wednesday. The date for scrutiny of nominations would be 30th June, that is Thursday. Last date for withdrawal of candidature would be Saturday, that is 2nd of July 2022. And date on which a poll shall, if necessary, be taken is 18th of July 2022, that is, that happens to be Monday. Thereafter, we collect all the ballot boxes and bring it back to Delhi. And date on which counting, if required, shall be taken and result declared, that would be 21-7-2022. Well in advance, then the 24th of July, the date of last date of the Honorable President being in the office. Thank you. We will take your questions now. I will again request you, Poochne ke pehle, Kripya apna naam aur organization bole. Hum sabka question le paayenge. Kripya jaldi na kare, ek ek karke poochne, sabko sahuliyat hogi. I will begin from first row then. हेलो सर गुड इवनिंग मोहित दुबे न्यूज़ नेशन से बोल रहा हूँ आपने तारीखों का ऐलान कर दिया पूरी सूची आपने जारी कर दी सवाल लगातार निष्पक्षता को लेके उठता रहा है रिसोर्ट जैसे दास सभा का चुनाव होता है या 